It's time for a Timber Takeover. I'm Matt Jury, and this is a Gamekeeper edition of DoD TV. This segment of DoD TV is brought to you by Mossy Oak Gamekeepers, your ultimate resource for wildlife and land management. It's always exciting when you get your hands on a new piece of dirt. One of the first things people do is usually figure out where all those food plot locations should be. But what about the timber? Well, you're in luck. We're hitting the hardwoods with Brian and Cody, and they're gonna give us some tips on timber stand improvement. So we are out here today on one of our 40 acre properties here in Nebraska. With all of your hunting properties, you want to learn as much as you can about them. And so this particular piece of property, I wanted to learn a lot more about the tree habitat that I have here. So I called up one of my friends at the Game and Parks Commission and basically they recommended that I thin out a lot of the Siberian elm uh, as much as possible. So to thin out the trees, um, they recommended that I do two different things. Number one is called a hack and squirt method. We're using the hack and squirt method. It's honestly really simple. I got a little hatchet here and I'm using a herbicide called Tordon, which is specifically for trees. So it's literally as simple. You wanna come down at an angle so that way when you spray in, it stays in that tree. And that's it. Another thing you want to watch out for is, you know, when you hack it and spray it, you want to make sure that the spray, especially the wind, doesn't blow a lot of that spray around because it'll kill all the plants that it touches. For larger trees, you may want to give it a couple of hacks. The biggest thing with the hack and squirt method is that you want to do it before the spring green up. And so in the fall, all the nutrients of the trees are getting pushed down into the roots for winter dormancy. And then during spring green up, it's pushing back up. Well, here in Nebraska, it's still plenty cold out, but if we waited another month to do this, we may be in a little bit of trouble and our work would be less effective. The second method that they advised that I could do to thin out the Siberian elm is actually called girdling. And it's basically taking away a ring of bark around the tree, which kills it as well. Now when girdling, you gotta be aware of the hazards that are around you. Um, just like this branch here, is in the way of walking around it. We'll chop that off and be aware of the debris around the tree trunks so your feet don't get tangled and you trip with the chainsaw. Safety is key. Now that you've taken care of the invasive tree species, the next stop on this tour is to figure out how to create a better bedding area for your deer. Hinge cutting is one way to do this. This creates cover for the deer while also providing good browse for food. Let's get back with Cody and Brian and go through some hinge cutting. Well, we've chosen this particular location to create a bedding habitat because it is adjacent to one of our food plots. If they bed here, they're gonna feel nice and safe. We can access and exit the food plot in our stand location without these deer ever knowing it. However, it's close enough that, that they'll get up during daylight hours and get to the food plot with plenty of time left for us to hunt them. As a rule of thumb, I like to cut three quarters of the way through the tree, about hip high and perpendicular to the ground. So hinge cutting can create food, it can create cover, and it can create safety. This particular hinge cut is exactly what we like to see. It laid on the ground perfectly, it's still connected, so there's still plenty of tree to push the nutrients out to the top. But one of the neatest things is because it's only a couple feet off the ground, the sunlight has plenty of room to touch the forest floor, and the sprouts that will come up here will give deer something to browse on for years to come. Now that you have the tools to create a thriving habitat, it's time to get your hands dirty and get some work done. 
Thanks for watching this edition of DOD TV. As always, we are shooting for 100,000 subscribers. All we need is you to hit subscribe and you're automatically entered in for a chance to win a free PSE bow. Until next time, safe hinge cutting and we'll check you later. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by Nomad. I hunt, therefore I am.